Rappaport, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely, it's a pleasure to be here. I've read that you pretend to be an astronaut every day. What do you mean by that? So I work on the commercial crew program for Boeing. Um, I work on the CST-100 Starliner, which is going to be the next spacecraft to take American astronauts from American soil to the International Space Station. It's been many years since we've done that, since 2011, the last space shuttle mission. They actually just announced the astronauts who will be flying on our first crewed flight test and then the first mission. Um, so most of them are NASA astronauts. We do have one Boeing astronaut okay, who is a retired NASA astronaut. So he's got tons of experience. He was actually the commander of the last shuttle space flight. So I, I have one of the coolest jobs besides actually being an astronaut. So I do aerospace human factors for the Starliner, which basically means anything that the astronaut is gonna touch or interact with or need to sit in or breathe or think about in any given mission, I help design and train for the astronauts to operate. So part of that is verification testing. Um, we need to make sure that our spacecraft and everything in it meets the requirements that NASA gave us so that we can complete their missions. And so we do testing in a full-size mock-up of our spacecraft. And it actually looks pretty similar to some of these ones behind us. We use a capsule design, um, so they look pretty familiar. And we've got a full-size mock-up that we can go into and practice doing different procedures that the astronauts will do. So I help define those procedures and train those procedures so that the astronauts and different test subjects that we get can come in and give us feedback on how our design actually works. How important is it to have these private companies working with NASA to develop these uh, capsules in this next generation? Boeing has been involved in nearly every endeavor to um, get astronauts out of Earth's atmosphere from American soil. So these capsules that you see behind us, Boeing and its heritage companies were part of building these. Boeing does have a lot of heritage with NASA already, but this time we are building our own spacecraft, right? We want spaceflight to be something that the everyday American can say, maybe one day this will be something that I can do. And that's kind of why we call it the Starliner. Um, we have the Boeing 787, the Dreamliner. Right. So we've got the Starliner. We're not just looking to have NASA as our only customer. Eventually, um, once we become operational and we prove ourselves with, our, with NASA as our customer, we're gonna look to expand into, into more industries, um, education, research, science, that sort of thing. So, um, and space tourism. So really we do hope to transition space and be a part of that transition to um, opening it up to more people. So what you're telling me is that I may be riding on a Starliner at some point. You absolutely could. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Today. Yeah, absolutely.